One of the really interesting things about the film is that it's a movie that takes place in New York, but in the end, except for the aerial plate shoot that we did, we were only able to have the principal actors in New York for a couple of days. So the majority of the time that you see them, you know, down on the viaduct, down on 42nd Ave, is them in New Mexico, you know, on a green screen set. Uh, what was very clear from the outset was that we weren't able to shoot the action as we were watching it in the animatics, and that we were going to have to create a CG playground around the stock tower, which effectively covered about 20 square blocks. There's quite a few restrictions about shooting in New York and where you can get road closures and where you can set off pyro, um, at, which isn't very much. And you also have a lot of restrictions around where you can take a helicopter and, and do filming. You can't, you can't get below 500 feet above the tops of any buildings. What made this project different for us was just the volume of data that we knew we would have to capture. Uh, the team shot seven miles of streets uh, while 100 feet above in a crane, as well as 35 different rooftops um, across the city, both day and night, uh, multiple levels. It was an enormous challenge, and the data that we acquired was effectively 2,000 spheres and over 250,000 images. From that photography, we would take the spheres in, we would project it onto the geometry, and that would give us a nice base to start from. We would get some pretty good results very quickly, but it's the details that take you know, the longest amount of time. We'd have to go in and, and paint out all the trees and all the cars and all the people that are supposed to be moving, and everything that sticks out from the building would have to be painted out as well. So there are a sequence of shots early in the movie where we're flying with Iron Man through New York at nighttime, and that presented us a bit of a different challenge because we knew because we were flying so close to the buildings, we would have to see inside those buildings and see offices. So we actually shot photographs of all the rooms at our LDAC facility here and reprojected those onto low-res geometry in a shader model inside the building so you could actually see offices as you fly past the window. Then down on the ground is where we had the most work in terms of recreating New York. We put back in trees, we put back in awnings, cop cars, cabs, you know, traffic, little construction um, pipes with steam coming out of them. In all, we had about 190 assets that we were repopulating you know, New York with. Uh, right down to the sandwich boards on the street corners. And I think that was the real key, you know, in, for, in terms of creating New York is you just need so much variety. Um, and, you know, what seems kind of simple at a glance actually is quite complicated to, to recreate all the different pieces of. Oh boy. 